Hey there, I'm Andrew. I'm a product and automations builder, and today we're gonna to build a really basic Twitter automation in NAN. Why would you wanna do this? This might be if you have a, a brand and you have a blog and you're constantly generating blogs and you have an RSS feed. This way you can automate your posts uh, to Twitter straight from your RSS feed. So you could do a little summary of your, your blog, for example. Um, I also have a, a uh, project that I work on where the whole concept is just around industry news. So uh, it's hooked up to an RSS feed for that specific industry, uh, creates little summaries and then tweets them out periodically throughout the day. So there's some really cool use cases. I follow a lot of accounts that just share industry news and news updates. So you can kind of hook this up to any kind of feed you want and just automatically tweet things. And the best thing about it is it's really easy. Um, the key is going to be right in here in this message model. Whoa. Um, the prompt that we put in here is going to be everything. Right now we're just gonna use a really basic one just to show how it works. But uh, as you tweak this and modify it, um, you'll see that you can do some really cool things. And honestly, it comes down to this. All right, so Real quick, we'll do a test workflow just to show how this is working. It's gonna pull all of these articles from an RSS feed, pass it along to this guy, which is scoring it to determine if it's worthy of writing a tweet about. And if it is, then it sends it over here, which will generate the tweet. Right now it's putting it into a Google Sheet so we don't spam my feed. Um, so let's go in and take a look at a couple of these that it's generated. Over here, um, you can kind of see it's created all these different uh, messages here. We'll zoom in a little bit. So some pretty basic tweets. The idea is that uh, this text here would be accompanied with the link. So it would be kind of like a commentary on the link and an opinion sort of, sort of, or really lightweight opinion. Not a lot of hot takes coming out of this AI right now, but we could make it produce hot takes if we wanted to. All right, so let's uh, rebuild this. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add this RSS feed. Uh, and in order to build this out, we actually need the URL for our feed. So to make a RSS feed, uh, we're just gonna use Google Alerts. Um, been using this one, so we're gonna show how to remake one of these. We're going to create an alert about AI agents because uh, there's not enough content on the internet about AI agents. So we're going to hit uh, show options here. Uh, so how often do we want this to run? Not at most once a day. We want it as it happens. And the sources will be, let's do automatic. So it pulls in everything. Language is English, region. We can do United States. Uh, we can select all results or only the best results. We're going to do only the best and let Google determine what that means and uh, what actually is the best. And we're going to deliver it to an RSS feed. All right, so now we have our RSS feed. So we'll click on here. Uh, this looks like nothing to us, but it's going to mean something to this automation we built. So we're going to take that URL from up here paste it in to this URL, URL feed uh, field. And we're gonna call this um, RSS agents. All right, so we got our first piece here. Um, next, the loop. We don't really need that right now, so we're not gonna do that. What we are gonna do is we're gonna set a set node here. Uh, and what we're going to do is we are going to set the URL that we're going to grab, which if you see here is this really long Google URL. And if we try to run that through our model here, uh, it's not going to work. So what we need to do is actually split the text here 
so that it extracts everything after this URL equals piece, uh, which you can see this is doing here, URL equals. Um, put instructions for all this stuff in the description, all the links that you need as well. Um, but worst case scenario, you can always have ChatGPT generate this for you very easy. All right, so that we run that and you'll see we get this list of all these nice little links and we can feed those over to our OpenAI. So we're going to do message a model and we are going to use 40 mini which is really cheap and pretty decent. Uh, so what we're gonna do in here is we're going to basically ask this particular step to score the articles to make sure we're not trying to tweet garbage. Uh, we don't wanna waste money generating tweets on garbage and we don't wanna tweet out garbage because that's gonna make us look bad. So um, obviously this doesn't factor in if you're tweeting your own blog, hopefully none of that is garbage, but if we're tweeting stuff from Google alerts like this, you will get some garbage coming in, uh, even when you set it to only the best. So uh, I have this little prompt in here, very basic again, share this in the description. Um, basically just says things like, uh, you know, we're looking for high quality content that's original, has good context, it's deep, it's clear. It's not repetitive. And really what's important here is what we're avoiding because we don't want any of this stuff. Stuff that's really short, uh, clickbaity. We don't want PR. I put this in uh, after running this a few times because it kept grabbing PR uh, press releases and PR news wire, wire things, which are fine, but they need a lot more interpretation to extract the value. It's not like, you know, here this here's this really cool article from a great writer and you know, I had this really interesting takeaway. Uh, you kind of need to distill it more. So that'd be for a different type of automation probably, or you can set that up within this to just um, have your, your next prompt, the tweet writer to write tweets that really break things down in detail. Um, so uh, we're gonna paste that in here. Make sure we got the right URL coming in, which we did. All right. And let's give this a test. Oh, it ran all of them. That's why we do the loop. So we can see all these scores came back. Oh, one. Garbage. All right, we got lots of eights and sevens so good stuff uh which is great all right so next um we want to filter this right we don't want to we want to stop the garbage from going through so in order to do that we are going to capture this value in a set and we're going to call it score and it's going to be a number and we are going to take this because the output that we generated from that prompt is only a number. It's not giving us anything else. Uh, and then we're going to do a if really basic if Oop, hold on, let's go back here. We have an error. Ah, so we have an issue with this one, which is not a number, uh, we had some kind of error in here, which is not what we want. So let's do this. Let's add in our loop. So we just do one at a time here and not making this complicated. So batch size will be one. We are going to loop over to the edit, remove this done line. Uh, and we're going to drag this down over here. 
Let's just add in a couple more steps here. We'll fill these in afterwards. Sheets. Uh, we want to append or update. And we'll do Twitter. Create tweet. And then wait. All right, so we got the skeleton of this. We'll hook up all of the pieces and fill in the settings here. But for now, I'm going to attach that over to uh, our replace me piece, which is where the loop is going. We're going to delete that. So now the loop is feeding through all of these steps. And we'll get rid of this piece because that doesn't do anything. Hold on one second here. All right, so we ran it and it output this message. Building products isn't just about solving problems, it's about crafting experiences. The emotional journey of a user often trumps functionality in driving long-term loyalty. All right, so that is the tweet summary of this article. So let's take a look at this. Uh, it's from the Wall Street Journal, it's about advertising industry parties in can with AI as its new plus one. So just a little bit of insight that this article hits on. Uh, like I said, not super deep. All right, so um, for purposes of, of this automation, you don't really need to do this, um, but I have been feeding um, content into uh, a Google Sheet. So uh, that way I can just kind of review things and see how it's turning out. This is good for testing uh, more so than anything. It's not required if you trust your prompt, but I would definitely do this just to see how things are turning out and fine tune your prompt before actually tweeting anything. We're gonna do this, we're gonna map it manually and we're going to send this content from that last node uh, to be set in the tweet content column. So we do that and now we see it. All right, so uh, we got our tweet. Their shift to remote work is redefining team dynamics. Collaboration now requires intent. It's not just about being online, but crafting engagement. How do we maintain connection in this scattered setup? I don't know, Tweet. What a great question. Um, that's not bad. So the next step in this would obviously be to tweet it out. So we'll go through that little process here. Um, again, I already have these set up, but now we want to select what we want to tweet. So we're gonna do the tweet content, what we were just looking at before, uh, the shift to remote work stuff. Um, but because we're not just sharing the actual content here, which makes no sense out of context, we also wanna share the link. And the link, we can grab it from, should be in our first node over here which we will put as link. Okay, here's our link. Okay, let's start that from the beginning and watch the magic happen. All right, so we're gonna stop this. We have that little wait in here at the end, so it doesn't just send out a thousand tweets really fast. Definitely, if you're using this, I would recommend putting a wait in here. This one's set to five minutes. It just tells it to wait for five minutes before it does anything else. So we'll come to my profile and we'll see, I'm not very active on Twitter these days, but 
Um, here's our little content. Here's our link. Tweet it out into the universe for everyone to see. Very cool. The other thing to keep in mind here too, is there is this RSS feed trigger, which I use in the original setup. Um, this one, if you enable it, will pull the RSS feed every minute. So if there's a new article, you know, every minute, it's gonna grab it. There probably won't be. Um, but this is kind of more of a, as content is added to the feed, it will, you know, produce tweets for it. But for now, that is it. That is our basic Twitter automation. Thanks for joining and see you soon.